What we'll do now is get set up with a custom splash screen. Because at the moment, if I refresh the app, you'll see we get that uh, splash screen, which is already there, which uh, comes from this uh, assets folder. Uh, it doesn't look too great, so I'll, we'll get rid of that. Um, so you can use whatever splash screen you want, of course. Now, I'm using one that I just made real quick. It just looks like this. I put it together in Photoshop real fast. So I'll add a link where you can download this. Um, there'll be a link directly to download it, but there'll also be a link to the uh, GitHub page where you can download it. Um, I'll also include the, the Photoshop file, which gives you this. If you've got Photoshop, maybe you want to add some changes to it. Um, but if you want to make your own, essentially all you need to do is um, create a file, which is, well, I guess this in these dimensions. So 1,284 pixels by 2778 pixels. Anything in this sort of aspect ratio will be fine. So anyway, if you want these, go ahead and take these. And then all we're going to do um, is move the PNG file into the uh, into the assets folder, so like that, uh, and I'll close that down. And instead of now, you could just delete this and rename this to Splash if you wanted to just change it directly rather than delete the Splash here. All you'd have to do is open app.json um, and change it here in the Splash in an image. So this would be um, Splash screen.png. If I save this and refresh it, we should see our own custom splash screen now. Now on an Android device, you get this weird little line here, this space between the two. So uh, to fix that, all we need to do is change resize mode, mode contain in app.json to resize mode cover, and that should fix that for you. So let me just rerun that. You should see the, um, the uh, splash screen again. There, and now it, you don't have the gap. So that's just something you need to do to fix it on an Android device. Just change the resize mode to cover.